Chess friends, we all love chess, that's why we are here, and you want to be a pro in chess, right? Some of you may not know that I recently started new chess courses for free, don't worry, I will not take money from you because chess is for everyone. You can learn my chess strategies, plan and tactics by watching my daily videos of YouTube, and also, you can subscribe to my chess lessons channel, where many chess grandmasters share their chess lesson, link in the description and i button. Ok, i started with e4, we have e5, knight comes to f3, knight go to c6, you can play Rui Lopez, and something we opening, i chooses to bishop opening, knight develops on f6, now i get a chance to play knight g5, targeting the f7 pawn with bishop and knight, d5 is best move which Magnus played in the game, e captures d5, targeting the knight, I will suggest you to play knight to a5, because, let me show the variation, knight a5, targeting this, if bishop backs, then knight will eat this guy. Then the d5 soldier will be gone. So, back to the position, after knight to a5, best move is to play bishop to b5, it's a check, so, c6, takes, takes, even queenside pawn structure is bad, black can manage this position by playing knight here, natural developing moves and so on. But in this game, Magnus played knight takes d5, because I told him to play it, because I need to make a video about that with him, now I will play knight takes f7, sacrificing a knight, Magnus played king takes f7, queen goes to f3, giving check to king and targeting the knight, what should black play? Queen here, or moves the king all the way, let me show one by one, if queen blocks, then takes, bishop blocks, takes, 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 I will win a pawn, and your king position is bad, you will face pawn island, a c and e pawns are split pawns. So, back to the position, Magnus played king e6, try to protect the knight with king and queen. Here comes knight c3, targeting the knight with three pieces, Magnus said, well, I am a stockfish subscriber, let me go with a brilliant level, knight to d4, targeting this. But the problem is that, your king is more important than my queen, so, bishop takes check, king slides on d6, the knight is targeting the c2 pawn, so, queen back to d1, c6, creating a safe route for the king, bishop back to e4, king back to c7, we have castle, bishop goes to e7, he can push the h pawn to h3, to start attack on king side, bishops will support the h3 diagonal, so, d3, bishop comes on e6, knight back to e2, queen up to d6, if you take it, then takes, then d4 pawn will be a stressful problem, so, c4, knight takes knight, queen takes e2, rooker goes to f8, creating safe square for the king, and he wants to start attacks on h file by pushing the h pawn, so, e4, because he is gonna play king b8, I will play b5, takes, rook here takes, opening up the diagonal and the file, bishop here, using the diagonal, queen here, targeting this, after settling the a pawn. King back to b8. Rook slides on e1, here comes h5, he will push it, let me push b pawn first, pawn takes pawn, in this position I think best was to play a4, takes, takes, bishop here, threatening this with the supporting of rook, and the files and diagonals will be open, queen and rook can come there in any variance to attack on a b-file, depends on the game that how black will use his pieces. But I played rook b1, targeting this, bishop backs, a4, you can't take the pawn, because of this, h4, I played h3, you might think why Magnus simply doesn't playing a6, making structure like this, but it's not so easy, if a6, supporting this, then takes, takes, bishop to e3, seizing the black square, c4, if b4, then push it, queen goes to anywhere, then rook takes pawn, targeting this, black will be devastated. So, back to the position, he played queen c7, he wants to play bishop c5, try to protect the diagonal and the file, a takes b5, bishop on c5, we have bishop to e3, rook up to f6, he is gonna double up the rooks, to create a potential attack to the f-file, c4, rook slides on f8, we have f3, 
good structure, queen b6, queen d2, bishop on f5, bishop takes, queen check, king slides, rook here, bishop here, queen d4, rook here, queen slides, queen b2, rook a1 is coming, targeting the pawn, ok, he slides the queen over, queen a3. Rook to d8, rook goes to a1, rook d7, bishop back, g6, c5, ok, i threatening the pawn, c5 blocks the diagonal for the queen, a6 is not good for you, if a6 then takes, threatening this, and if pawn pushing, check, king slides, white will promote it, so, he played b5, bishop on c6, targeting the rook, and you know what, you can't save the rook, if rook here, then rook takes pawn, sacrificing a rook, queen takes, pawn takes b6, targeting this, and this you can't take the pawn, because of checkmate, if rook slides, then takes. King can't go there because of this, so king c7 queen check king here, takes, pawn promotes into a new queen, and you will lose the game. So, in this position, Magnus played queen takes c5, try to remove a strong piece of mine, ok, queen takes c5, pawn takes, 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 rook takes, takes, rook takes, a6, rook g5, bishop takes. However Magnus played a very good game, well done Magnus, but white is totally winning. Enjoy the game with beautiful piano music. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.